So today I am sharing my favorite travel bags. These are my go-to bags that I pull out of my travel closet every time we're going on a trip, whether it's a road trip or flying, and I'll kind of tell you why I might choose one or the other, depending on the size of trip and where we're going. So another bag that we use actually all the time for road trips, but I don't think I talk about because you can't get it anymore, but I will try to find you something similar, but I had to mention it because it definitely is a go-to for us. So if you guys see something similar, just know this is why I like this. So this is a duffel bag. You can see most of them do close like that, kind of flip over, but it is a great size. I actually got this at DSW years ago, I think it was, um, but I like the color. It's just very nice so I can use it. My husband can use it. It's great for that weekend trip or overnight trip. So you can put, you know, all kinds of things in it from just maybe you want shoes and toiletries and miscellaneous or you can actually pack your clothing in here and it goes really well with my hard side suitcase that is a good weekend trip too. So for instance, like when we go to my parents or my husband's parents, they live in, you know, smaller houses, the bedroom smaller. So we don't want to pack large suitcases because then you don't have anywhere to put them. So what we'll do is I would rather take like a small carry on or a duffel bag. And then that way it's not in the way. And I've split my things up kind of between, you know, two different bags. So that's why one of these come in handy. And then they're not too heavy going upstairs too. Speaking of another duffel bag, I had just mentioned this one in my overnight flight essentials this is an older bag but i did find you something very similar and i'll link that so this is definitely one that pretty much goes with us on every single trip whether i'm taking this one and my husband's taking that brown duffel um, or we're just taking this one pretty much every trip i'm using this kind of bag another one i use a ton is i have absolutely loved this carry-on from delcy I've had this for, I don't know, a few years now, and I have taken this on so many trips, whether it is my carry-on on an airplane, it is the larger size, so check with your airline. I also take it, like I said, to go on smaller road trips. So if it's just a weekend trip and I want this and I want my clothes and everything to be a little more organized, I'll definitely put them in this. Again, taking it to my parents, my in-laws, when I need maybe a few more items than the duffel will hold, this is a a great bag they are expensive but you can often get them on sale and i know i'll post on my instagram from time to time when i see them on sale so that you can grab them it has just definitely been one of the best bags i got the larger size carry-on on purpose because i already have a couple of regular smaller size like 19 inch carry-on and i specifically wanted that knowing when we go to europe or something I wanted a larger carry on. Another longtime favorite has been the long shot bag. Um, I have a brown one. This is actually my newest one that I bought last year in Spain. They have so many colors. Every year in the Norse anniversary sale, they usually have a couple colors you can get on sale. There's different styles, one that expands, um, one with shorter handles. This is just the large, so this is the one that I actually like. And I've always wanted this navy color, so I'm glad I finally have it. And this is a great bag to just throw in the bottom of your suitcase for that extra bag you might need. I have used this um, walking around resorts or cruise to kind of put all your essentials in for that day, getting off of the ship. Um, it's nylon, so it's a great beach bag too. Inside's nylon. I've taken it as my pool bag when you don't want a lot of extra bags. So this is just a must have. And it's again, great for one of those, just put in the bottom of your seat case. It's flat. So if you need a bag for extra things, maybe you've purchased on a trip. Twice this year already, a bag that I'm really liking that is a tote and it's kind of like multifunctional is this straw tote. I have used this on a cruise and then I also used it, you know, it was a road trip, um, going to the beach and so forth. It's great because I like that it has the um, nice straps. It does come in other colors, by the way, and it's pretty roomy. Now, you wouldn't want to overstuff this because you might change the shape. And I really don't think I would travel with this on an airplane before car trip, beach trip, um, resort, anything like that. It's been great as that kind of tote that carries everything. And then you could use it as your pool or beach bag once you got there. So I have really enjoyed this. It's a great size. I do have my two Neverfull MMs that I will take once in a while. But I have to say, 
a lot of times I don't reach for those, but those, so let's talk some toiletry bags. I switch around depending on how much I'm bringing, the kind of trip I'm taking, whether I know there's going to be counter space where I can set my bag or is it a small space where I'm going to have to hang. I admit I am typically not a hanging toiletry bag person, but I do have a couple and I will show you and I've really enjoyed them. One is a newer one that I just took to Scotland with us last month. But this one is one that kind of everything sits in once in a while. I'll just go ahead and bring it with me because you can actually, even though it's usually never totally full, you can see being nylon, you can kind of squish it over and it doesn't take much room in a suitcase because of that. It has a double zip. I actually got this from Target many years ago, but they often still have something similar. You can see how large it is. But again, this is one of those bags that most of my to toiletries just stay in. I highly recommend that you do that so that you're always ready to go. You always have those travel size of things. That way you can just refill what you need. And then if you want to take a smaller toiletry bag, like some of the ones I'm going to show, you can just grab what you need out of here and put into that bag. This is another great option for toiletries or makeup. Um, I actually have two of these, but I think I prefer this green one. The green one has the woven pattern on it. You've probably just seen these all over the internet. That's how I saw it. Um, and it just opens up like this. They're all a little bit different though. This one has um, an inside zipper, some elastic compartments here, one big one there, but I like that it lays flat on a counter. So it's really great for that. You can see everything. Again, you could put makeup and toiletries in here. If you don't take a lot of either, I usually take more um, makeup than that. So I like to have a separate makeup bag and it's the perfect size. Doesn't take up a lot of room. All right. So two other toiletry bags. I have shown this before. I think I may even have a separate video on it. If I do, I will link it below. This one has been one of my favorites for small trips. You can see, you know, how flat it is when nothing's in it, but it does have an area you can hang, but it also has this compartment at the bottom that will sit on a counter that just kind of opens up, you can see. So it's great for either. I find myself taking this one when I'm just doing like a weekend trip. So you can see it has some clear compartments up here, mesh. And then the main compartment is down here with some elastic. It does open up um, pretty wide. So you can put quite a few things in there. And then it does have a zipper front pocket here. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. It has a handle here. It has a slip pocket back here. This one's a great one. And then this is my newest one. And again, you've probably seen this all over the internet. This is from Amazon. I have several bags from this brand. They're a great brand. This, I believe, is the, I want to say medium, but it may be the small. Because I had ordered one before and it was way too big because they have a large one where you could literally put like full size products in it. But I never travel like that. So um, this one does have a slip pocket back here. This one is still packed with my items. Um, I did not take them out and put them in that larger one. So I'll show you what this looks like. This one is a hanging one. So if you like hanging, maybe when you're staying with people or going to Europe and the bathrooms might not be that big, this is usually um, something good to take. So it has the hanging you can see here at the top. And then it just folds out like this. I have all my things in it. It was plenty roomy, um, you know, I tried to separate things out by like kind of hair or skincare, things like that. I like that you can see everything as well. So this was nice. I really liked it. And again, for not being a um, hanging toiletry kind of person, typically, I did really enjoy this. And you can see what it looks like here. This will definitely become one of my go-tos, I can tell. All right, let's talk some makeup bags. I have a few to share with you. And again, that green one you could use as a makeup bag as well. This comes in a set of two and it has a smaller one, but it's definitely more structured. This one's a nicer one. This would be great as a gift. You could get the monogrammed if you want. I typically will put some makeup in here or you could definitely do toiletries. But again, I like it because it has, it has that sturdy structured bottom. It does open all the way. So you can see that's nice. Has a slip pocket here. This does have a little more weight to it being that it is a faux leather bag with that sturdy bottom. So depending on, you know, if you're packing carry on only, this probably wouldn't be my go-to. I really like this one. And sometimes, you know, when I'm just wanting something like a little fancier to use, I'll try to rotate and use this one. All right. You all have probably seen these. These have been such bestsellers with you guys ever since I first shared them. It was probably a couple years ago now. I think they come in other colors. Sometimes they go in and out of stock. I do have a highlight saved on my Instagram showing 
kind of what I pack in here. You can see what they look like. You could also use these for toiletries. I find I really love them for makeup because I can see everything in it. I'm not digging around. I'll just alternate between the two colors. They're exactly the same. Just trying to give them both some love so I don't wear one out. You can see they do have a handle and nice size sitting up. I just pack like usually palettes and stuff at the bottom. Um, everything lays nice and flat. And again, why I love these is because you can see everything. I feel like so many makeup bags, especially if they're dark inside, you're like digging around and you can't find anything, especially if it's pencils or something like that. These are just great. I love how uh, wide open the top zips and just lays like that. So you, again, easy access to everything. These are definitely my favorite bag, hands down, reach for these constantly. So as far as electronics, I know there's all kind of cute electronic, you know, um, wallet type things and they have little slots and I've thought about getting one. Honestly, I might just because the organization lover in me loves something like that. But I asked my husband and he's like, I just like this. And why I say I ask my husband, he's normally the one that carries this in his backpack. So if he's going on a trip on his own for work, um, he'll condense down and just take a few things, what he needs, and he has a smaller bag, or he'll just take this. But this is something that always goes with us. I don't want to tell you the wrong size of this. It's a Vera Bradley bag. I have two sizes I've shown before, the smaller one that's like the size of my hand, and then there's this one. So I want to say it's the medium, but I will list the exact size for you below in the description box and in the comments and pin it so you can easily find all the bags I'm talking about. But this has been our go-to electronics bag for years. Um, we just keep extra locks in here. It has like cords for everything we need. It has our little non-surge protector um, extra outlet that we bring on a cruise. Actually, we use this in hotel rooms too. It doesn't have to be just for a cruise, but for a cruise, you know, it's the non-surge protector. Basically, anything you might need electronic wise for you know recharging anything it fits in this bag all right a couple of clear bags again i just mentioned these in that overnight um, packing video as well have had these for years love them these were our original clear bag set we got it comes in a set of two you can see how nice and wide they are they fit everything i will put foundation in here um, cause I usually carry my makeup on with me, you know, have a little deodorant, hand sanitizer, you name it, all your liquids that you need, you know, TSA approved. That's what this bag is for. It's great. And then these I have had, I think for a couple of years now, and I love these, these come in like a six pack or something. They are the small size I want to say, but again, I will link the specific ones. They come in different sizes. So you can get different pouches. So they are just a clear zippered pouch. <laughs> They're really flat, but they will expand to put quite a few things in them. You could use this for all kinds of things. I've shown, I use them for snacks on trips. This has um, overnight things like eye mask and earphones, you know, like emergency first aid things. You could put kids things in there. I mean, it's endless what you could use these for. And I just absolutely love them. Again, they're clear so you can see what's in them. And I love how flat they are. So you could like stack a couple and they hardly take any room. So these have been my go-to jewelry bags for quite some time. I've had this one for quite a while. And then I purchased this one, I don't know, a year or two ago. The smaller one is great for smaller weekend trips and I'm not taking as bulky of pieces as I used to. So I find I reach for this one a little bit more. However, if I'm going on a long trip and I have more items that I want to take, this one is definitely great. It will hold all your bigger pieces of jewelry with no problem, tons of storage. But again, it's also really flat, so it really doesn't take up that much room. When you can see, I mean, it's about the size of my hand. It won't hold as much, but I still find um, because of this zipper pouch here, I can put so much in here and I don't have a problem. Um, what I really like is this. So I'll wear more dainty necklaces and I can put them in there. Again, place for your rings. It really has been the perfect size and I've not found myself reaching for that one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Again, everything will be linked below and I will pin it in the comments along with any videos that I mentioned. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.